Okay guys, so today we'll be making Windows XP look like Windows 11. So on YouTube, like, I try to find like a bunch of like these tutorials of making Windows XP look like Windows 11, but like they're just the opposite, so... And I don't think I can find one that that makes Windows XP look like Windows 11. So oh, this is the tutorial of how to. So what I have here is like I have a, like a bunch of stuff here, like the Windows 11 icons here, I'll probably like give you where the, I get those icons from and also I got like this Windows 8 cursors because they're basically just the same cursors Windows 11 uses the Windows 8 cursors and uh wait I don't know what that one was and I think that's what we're gonna start doing and also we have the wallpaper too so um uh, let's just get started with this so what I'm gonna start doing is I go to properties right here and go to customize desktop and what I do is like to change icon here so what I'm gonna do is like change the icon of my computer to the Windows XP icon so I just go here and uh, to the Windows 11 icon I meant I'm um, so to go here and there it is now here to Windows 11 as well so we're gonna make this look like that and then now we're gonna get more of those. So what we could do? Wait, where is that one? Um, yeah, that was it. Yeah, I just here it is. Now the recycle bin full and full and also the recycle bin empty. Press OK and OK. Now, so for the wallpaper, we're going to change that to the Windows 11 one. And now, you can see now it looks more like Windows 11 than Windows XP now. So now what we're going to do now is to go on the... We're going to change the cursor. So what we're going to do is, um, we're going to probably go to Control Panel. And go to Printers and Other Hardware and uh, the mouse here. So what do you have to so what I'm gonna do here is just go here and try to replace it. So here it is. Here they are. And apply. I can see that the cursors now look more like um, uh, Windows 11 than the Windows XP as well. And also what we're going to do is to change the startup sound as well. So pro we can like change the other sounds, but I don't think I can find the other sounds. So what I'm going to do here is to go... Um, to the startup sound, I just need to find it. Wait, so is this it? Yep, so that's it. So what we do is go to Browse. And here, now you can hear it. Yep, and then we just go to OK. What we should do now is to make the, the theme not look like Windows XP and more like Windows 11. So probably if you want, you can probably like put like the silver theme. To see if it kinda like it kinda looks like, but you're probably gonna go to the classic theme here. And what we're gonna do is um we're gonna make this things a bit bigger, like like I think that's good enough. And also this thing is gonna be a bit more like brighter, like probably not that bright. Wait, I'm gonna like put it down like here and press OK. Wait, let me see if it looks good. Okay, so it's sort of getting there. You just have to remove on this top blue part here. So probably, probably do it the same to here. Oh no, the text up here must be that, and also so it must be black as well. Turn it to that. So probably what we're going to do here is probably like darken it to here as well, like probably like here. Wait, that's probably a bit too bright, too dark I meant. 
Turn on for that side. Wait, it's still dark. Probably in here. And yep. So press OK and apply. And we can see that Windows XP looks more like Windows 11 now. But so you can see like all the icons look like Windows 11 and all that sort of stuff. So just wait. Let's just listen to the to the startup sound to see if it looks good. If this actually fits. Yep. I think that looks good. That th that looks very perfect for this. Like, like yeah. So I think that's all for today's video. Like, probably I will do a part two of this if you can tell me what other things to use to make this thing better. And also, um, thank you guys for watching and goodbye and see you soon.